When people think about animals, in general, they think about some mammal, a dog, a cat, an elephant, or a fish, a bird, or little animals which are around us, like flies, spiders, and this kind of creatures. But there are some animals which are simpler that we cannot imagine. I try to show how these animals are, focusing more in morphology, like I was always do. So let's take a look in these four simple phyla. Philum Placozoa. It was 1883, University of Graz, Austria. The German zoologist Franz Eichlard Schuss took a sample of water from the inside glasses of a seawater aquarium. Observing this, he found a little organism that was settling there. It had the amoeba-like movements, what was unknown from metazoans until that point. Publishing a short communication, Franz named the new species Trichoplax aderens. The stick hair plate from the Greek trick hair plex plate. The name of the phyla Placozoa means animal with plate form. The Placozoans live in warm oceans, feeding on cyanobacteria and microalgae, which they digest externally in the narrow space between their lower epithelium and the substrate. They lack muscles and neurons. The Trichoplax is considered the most basal animal because they have just a few millimeters and present a simple morphology. The animal is formed just by two different layers of cells, the upper epithelium and the lower epithelium, with a connective tissue like between them. It's just a one millimeter of diameter, but only 20 micrometers thick. They lack radial or symmetrical body plan, which is formed by six types of cells. Dorsal epithelial cell. Pave the dorsal face of the organism. Ventral epithelial cell. Cells with a motile cilium and microvilli on their apical ends. Fiber cell. Cells with long branching processes. Crystal cell. Cells reported to be gravity sensing cells, located in the interior layer but only near the edge of the animal. Gland cell. A generic name used for secretory cells with smaller granules. Lipophil cell. Cells with large lipophilic granules. Oilungia hongikongensis. It's another species of Placozoa. In terms of morphology, this species has the same as Trichoplax, but they differ of each other about the mitochondrial DNA. The third and last species of Placozoa is Polyplacotoma mediterranea. Described for the first time in 2019, these animals differ from other Placozoan in its completely different morphological habitus, including long polytomous body branches and a maximum body length of more than 10 mm. They differ in mitochondrial DNA too. Despite there are more than a hundred of suggested organisms to this phylum, these three species are the only confirmed until now. Philum rhombozoa. According to Nouvel, these organisms are first described by Crohn in 1839 and by Erdley in 1843 as parasites of the renal organs of cephalopod mollusks. Von Kulliker in 1849 reported that they had long been known to zoologists. He studied the parasites of Octopus vulgaris and Octopus macropus and identify all those found by him and by previous authors in other cephalopods as members of a single species which he named Dicema paradoxum. Dicemids are a group of microscopic endoparasites that inhabit the renal sacs of cephalopods, mainly octopuses and cuttlefishes. 
they have long fascinated biologists because of their highly simplified body organization composed of approximately 40 cells and they lack cellulose, circulatory system and other differentiated tissues. The surface of the DCME the body possesses numerous cilia and the folded structure which is believed to contribute to absorbing nutrients more efficiently from urine. The embryo's body is formed by one axial cell rounded by ciliated somatic cells, while the adult is formed by three axial cells. At the anterior region, four to ten peripheral cells form the calot, of which cilia are shorter and denser than in more posterior peripheral peripheral cells. The calot shape varies, depending on the species, and might be resulted as an adaptation to attack to the various regions of host renal tissues. There are four types of calot. Type 1 Conical calot Type 2 Cap-shaped calot Type 3 discoidal calot, type 4, irregular shaped bodies and calots. In the other, Heterosiemida has just two species. Conociema poliforma is formed by polar cells, axial cell, axoblast, somatic cell, developing vermiform stage. Microsiema gracili is formed by three axial cells, developing axoblasts and syncytion. Filum Orthonectida The first Orthonectida discovered was the Hopalura Ophiocome by Alfred de Mathieu Giard, 1878, as a parasite of the Ophiocoma neglecta, now Amphipholis squamata. The body appears superficially to consist of five general divisions. The first division of the body is a conical cap consisting of two tiers of cells, rings 1 and 2, except for a small area on the anteriormost portion of each of cells of ring 1, these are completely ciliated. The second superficial division is conspicuous especially in living individuals because it is the widest and also because certain of its cells contain large crystal-like inclusions. This region of the body, believed to be unciliated by early observers, consists altogether of 80 ring of cells and is provided with five circles of cilia. The cells of ring 3 are rather large and almost twice as wide as long, and bear a single transverse hull of cilia near their anterior margins. Rings 4 and 6 consist of small ciliated cells whose surface area is usually 3 or 4 times wider than long. Ring 5 is similar to ring 3 although its cells are shorter and sometimes also wider, and they are ciliated only near their posterior margins. Rings 7, 8 and 9 are composed of cells which are all very much alike. However, the cells of rings 7 and 8 are ciliated only near their anterior margins, whereas those of ring 9 are ciliated only near their posterior margins. Ring 10 is unciliated, but its cells are distinctly larger, particularly in length, than those of any other unciliated rings. Ring 11, which forms the third superficial division of the body, consists of completely ciliated, elongated cells which are arranged obliquely, extending toward the right posteriorly. The cells of rings 12, 13 and 14 lying between the third and fourth divisions, are unciliated and are much wider than long. Ring 15 constitutes the fourth superficial division and is similar to ring 11, 
but each cells are shorter and their disposition is usually less oblique. Rings 16, 17 and 18 are unciliated and are like rings 12, 13 and 14. The less superficial division of the body, often appearing as two distinct subdivisions, consists of two rings, 19 and 20, of ciliated cells. Filum monoblastozoa Salinella salve is a dubious species of a very simple animal that may not exist, but which some have named as the sole member of the Filum monoblastozoa. It was discovered, or at least described, in 1892 by Johannes Frenzel in the South Pens of Argentina and cultivated in laboratory by him. The animal has not been found since and its real existence is considered doubtful.